Good morning, everyone. It's Sandra here with the Clean and Simple Life. I hope everybody is bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this Wednesday morning. It's a little, uh, little gray day out here in uh, in Toronto, so, um, but that's okay. Sometimes we need a little bit of a, a gray day, but it's still going to be a rocking great day. So I hope you guys all have a great day. So. Today, we are going to do an entire day of good food, real results, meal planning. And we're, I'm going to do breakfast right now. Good morning, Tony. Um, I'm going to do breakfast. We're going to do lunch a little bit later. And I'll come on with dinner as well. And all three of those meals are coming from our good food, real results book, which is part of our Epic Life Challenge. This is the basis of our Epic Life Challenge that's starting on May 4th. Epic Life Challenge and Real Results is all a meal, bl meal planning weight management system. Um, we've got our 90 day challenge that's starting on May 4th, as I mentioned, and we've got Epicure doing all kinds of great prizes cash giveaways, product giveaways, it's amazing. And the system itself is absolutely amazing. So I wanna to talk to you, uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing right now, I'm gonna split it up, we'll talk a little bit about the program all through the day. But the one thing that I do wanna talk about first thing is what is Epic Life Challenge? What is Real Results? And how does it work? So as part of the Real Results book, it lays everything out for you. So. How does it work? It's based on volumetrics. So getting the most nutrient dense foods into your system without having empty calories, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's all about living a balanced life, perfectly portioning your plates. How do you do that? We're gonna help you figure that out. We're gonna show you how to do that. Um, it also incorporates activity in your day. I'm still not quite awake. So if I stutter on my words, I apologize. I haven't finished my second coffee yet. <laughs> um, it, it focuses on healthy lifestyle, incorporating activity into your day, and making sure that you're eliminating those non-nutritionally dense foods out of your life. It does not mean getting rid of your coffee because I would never prescribe something that has no coffee in it. So have to have our coffee. But um, it is also based on four pillars, taste, frequency, quantity, and quality. So taste needs to be everything. It tastes, takes less than 90 days of eating real wholesome foods while avoiding processed foods for your taste buds to change. And we're so used to, in our diets, eating things that are processed from stores, from factories. Oh, good morning, Beverly. Um, we're so used to eating those things. And those foods are so high in sodium and sugar content. And our taste buds have gotten used to that. So I often hear from people who are switching over to Epicure products um, that there's something missing. They're, they're not as flavorful. And that's what it is, you're missing that salt because all of our products are very sodium and sugar conscious. So we don't have a lot of salt in there. What we use instead is natural flavorings, the flavorings of the herbs and spices that are in our foods that bring that out. Eating whole foods are gonna help your taste buds to develop properly and enjoy the real healthy foods that are gonna do your body so much better. So. That's why it's going to take a little time for your taste buds to change. As you cook and home cooks, and I have a feeling that a lot of people who are cooking at home these days are starting to figure that out. But you're going to, you're going to develop that taste bud sensation and you're not going to be missing that salt. I've been almost salt free for years now. Um, I very rarely use salt in anything that I that I do. I certainly don't salt at the table, and whatever salt that I do use in my cooking is very, very minimal, and I honestly don't miss it whatsoever. So the other thing about our, the other pillar is frequency, eating 
balanced meals three times a day. There's no, if you eat the proper meals at each meal time and you're getting those nutrient dense foods into you, there's, your body's not going to need that snacking. It really isn't. And what it does is it allows your body to go into a state of ketosis. And now everyone, you know, keto's the, this big thing that everybody's talking about. Everybody's talking about keto, intermittent fasting. Well, there's a reason for that. Intermittent fasting is shown to be better for our bodies than eating five, six times a day, which is something that, you know, we've all, we've been told in the past in other diets, I hate that word because diet has the word die in it and that's exactly what it is. It's a non-sustainable way of eating. But putting your body into state of ketosis through intermittent fasting is proven to help with weight loss and weight management. Our bodies are designed for that. Our bodies are designed to take in the nutrients we need, digest them, process them, and then wait a period of time to allow that fat to burn off before we feed it again. So the frequency of meals is really, really important and that's why our program is based on three perfectly balanced, well-portioned meals per day. And you may find when you're starting off on this program that, holy cow, that's a lot of food. I know the first time I ever did a Epic Life Challenge years and years ago, that's exactly what I said. I went, I can't eat all this food. There was way too much in one portion, but as your body gets used to not snacking in between, your body adapts and is looking for that little bit bigger portion and not having to get that snack in between and it allows your body to start to metabolize a lot faster. Quantity is the next one. The right amount in the right combination. Certain foods need to go together. You need to have that balance on your plate. You want a quarter of your plate to be a lean protein. You want a quarter of your plate to be a complex carb. Carbs are not bad. Please, please, please don't tell me you're eliminating carbs from your diet because that is not the way to go. We need carbs in our diets. We need fats, we need proteins, and we need carbs. Those are the three things that our body absolutely needs. So carbs are important. What the key is though, is getting the right carbs. You want a complex carb, not a simple carb. Simple carbs are refined. Refined sugars, refined wheat, refined flour. You want to have your carbs to be as real as possible to the, um, the most natural state it can be. So whole wheat breads, brown rice, quinoa, um, farro, things like that. That's what you want to have in your, in your meal planning as part of your carbs. And then you want half your plate to be veggies. Fruits, veggies, plant-based. So, so important. And then of course quality. We want the quality of food. We don't want the processed foods. We don't want, um, you know, not all calories are created equal. We want to make sure that we are getting the biggest bang for our caloric buck. So that is what the four pillars are. Again, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this throughout the day. You want to incorporate daily habits. You want to have at least 30 minutes of physical activity in your, in your day. And you want to have water, lots of water. Yes, eight glasses a day is going to be where you want to target. But honestly, you want to drink half your body weight in ounces of water. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you want to be drinking approximately 75 ounces of water a day. That sounds like a lot. It is at first, your body's gonna, you're not, if you're not a water drinker to begin with, I am. If you're not a water drinker to begin with, it's gonna sound like a lot. Stay with it. You're gonna find it's gonna be so much easier and your body, most of us are dehydrated and don't even know it. So it takes a little while to get used to that. 
stick with it. Stick with me. I assure you, you will get used to it. You may be using the bathroom a little bit more often at first as your body gets used to it, but trust me, you're going to be happy to incorporate all that extra water. So let's do breakfast. I'm hungry. I don't know about you. So today I'm doing a smoothie. I love smoothies. Smoothies are awesome. They're great. They're portable. You can whip it up and put it in a travel mug, take it with you to your office or wherever it is you're going in the morning. They're fantastic. In the book, we have a build your own smoothie. I shouldn't be blocking my face. Um, build your own smoothie. So that's where we're starting today. There are other smoothie options in the book as well that you can do, but the Build Your Own happens to have my favorite, which is the Ripped Chocolate Raspberry Smoothie. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. And it uses everything that comes in your um, Epic Life Collection kit, which is right here. And it's going to use the protein powder this morning. It also uses the Coco Acai, which is the Smoothie Booster. That does not come in the kit, but... Um, if you don't have that, you could easily just put in some cacao powder and that would suit just fine as well. Um, just remember the kit is 20% off until April 30th, which is tomorrow and we have reduced shipping. So if you're looking to get on the Epic Life Challenge and you want a ready to go kit, you got everything you need, that's the way to go. It's also going to have your, your book for you and it's going to have the journal that comes with it. And we'll talk about the journal a little bit later today. Um, but that's also a great piece that comes with it. So let's get started building our smoothie. So we're going to start with, I have my perfect portions cups here. And I, there's a reason they're called perfect portions because they're the perfect portion, right? So I'm going to do one portion, which is of fruits and veggies and they're all labeled so the fruits and veggies one it has the green dot on it I sometimes forget so I did label them but so I want one portion of this which is approximately one cup I am NOT using raspberries I am using mixed berries because that is what I had in the freezer I'm just using a jumble berry fruit blend which has strawberries blackberries blueberries and raspberries that's what I had, so that's what I'm using. You could um, definitely use just frozen raspberries as well. And I want one cup or one perfect portion of baby spinach. I freeze my spinach, so I usually get a bag of spinach and I just pop it into the freezer and then it's ready to go. Now, I did take this one out a little bit earlier, so it's a little bit wilted, but we're going to put one perfect portion of spinach in there easy peasy and then we are going to do one oh I am so sorry <laughs> we're going to do one scoop of our protein powder this is our vanilla blend protein powder which does come in your kit you don't uh, you get the, um, the small sachets and they are one scoop per packet which is good to, to get started our protein powder is made with, um, it's a ve vegan, so all good there. It's made with pea protein, rice protein, coconut sugar, hemp protein, uh, tapioca, natural flavors, a bit of sea salt. It's got lots of B vitamins. It's got a billion live bacillus um, cultures as a probiotic in there, which is fantastic. It's got potassium, it helps maintain good health and helps your body build protein. It, I love this. It has a full protein serving. So it's 20 grams of protein per scoop. One scoop, you've got your protein for that meal. It's fantastic, I love it. And um, three grams of fiber, two grams of fat, it's vanilla based. This one, uh, this one's the sweet coconut. I still had some of that one previously, but it is, uh, we do have the vanilla one now. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of a nut butter. I'm just using regular peanut butter. Again, whatever you've got. If you've got almond butter, cashew butter, 
all good. Whatever you like to use. And I have the uh, the natural peanut butter. I get mine at Bulk Barn in my reusable container. So all nice. There we go. And then I want one scoop of the cocoa acai, which is another great, great product. I love this. It's got so many extra nutrients in it. It's uh, lots of fiber in here. See what I can tell you here. Lots of fiber, two grams of fiber, very low sugar. It's non-GMO, it's gluten-free as everything else here is. It just adds that extra, extra nutrient in our smoothie. And then I'm gonna use a cup and a quarter of milk. I'm using a uh, coconut almond milk today just to keep it dairy free. Again, use whatever uh, whatever milk you have or that you prefer. It's completely up to you. There we go. It's about one and a quarter. Dump that in. All right. And here we go. Now it's going to get loud. I apologize for that. But let's see if we can get this going here. Turn that on. There we go. Bring you over here. There we go. We got that blending up nicely. Up here. There we go. Oops. So there. So my smoothie is blending. There's different different options that you can have in the smoothie in the book here. Um, my other really good favorite is the Hello Sunshine. I love that one as well. It's bright, it's clean, it's citrusy. It's made with oranges and cranberries. I absolutely love that one. A little bit of avocado. So that's another really nice one that I like. That protein is using Greek yogurt instead. We're almost done with that. And then the let me tell you about the journal a little bit. Okay, this is done. All right, that looks like it's just about ready. Should grab the glass. There we go. Okay. So here's my smoothie. Oh, look at that. It looks lovely. I can smell the peanut butter in there. And the nice thing is, because smoothies are great for kids too. I love giving kids smoothies because most kids like smoothies. You, and you can hide so much in a smoothie because they don't know. It all gets mixed in together. Um, another one that I really love has beets in it. Kids won't notice that there's beets in their smoothie. I guarantee it. So... Give that a try. I, I, I assure you, they're not going to realize that there's beets in it. But, um, what did I, oh yeah, <laughs> we were going back to this, sorry. So the uh, Epic Life Journal is also part of the collection. Journaling is really important when you're doing a weight management program, I believe. You want to be accountable to what you're doing. So the journal is really nice. It's um, It's set out so it gives you a... It gives you a checklist to get started. It also gives you a spot where you can write your goals. This is one of my old ones. So it gives you a spot to write your goals, make your plan, your whoop plan, your wish, outcome, obstacle, and plan. So looking at, okay, what possible obstacles might I have as I'm doing this plan, so, and how am I gonna deal with them as they come up, because let's face it, things happen, right? Maybe we're not right now because we're all sort of in quarantine, but birthdays are gonna happen. We're gonna wanna go out for dinner. There's gonna be a celebration here and there. We're not gonna have control of what's being fed to us. How are we gonna deal with that? So that's your plan. And then it lays out, gives you your, start with your measurements, because you, you need a baseline, right? And then, you're gonna start doing your meal planning. So week one, you're gonna plan out all your meals. It's gonna give you a 
spot to do a grocery list, and then you're gonna track your days. How did you do today? How are you feeling? What are your priorities for the day? Did you do a meatless day? What did you eat through the, the day? What was your exercise? What non-scale victories did you have? And you can even track how much water you're drinking. So really great little way to keep track of what you're doing throughout the, uh, throughout the program. It's set up for 90 days to match our 90 day challenge. So it does come as part of the Epic Life collection as well as the book. So cheers to breakfast. That wasn't too long. Um, we will be back around 12.30 today and we're gonna make some lunch and we'll talk a little bit more about the Real Results Challenge, uh, Real Results Program and how that all works. We're gonna talk a little bit more about getting started and what, uh, what you need to do to get started. What does your kitchen look like? What does your pantry need to look like? Needs not really the right word, I guess. What, your, what it should look like so that we can proceed with eating better and maintaining a good health. So thank you all so much for getting up this morning and watching with me. I appreciate it. I'm going to drop a link in the, in the comments below in a little bit here if you're interested in, the, uh, in getting started with that Epic Life Collection uh, while it's still on for 20% off and enjoying discounted shipping. I will also drop a link below if you're interested in joining us for the 90-day Epic Life Challenge beginning on May 4th. We'd love to have you join us and uh, cheer everybody on as we get ready for the summer season and we get ready to live a healthier lifestyle. Thanks everybody. Enjoy the rest of your morning. I'll see you at lunch. Bye.